Now here is the correct pronunciation of some of the more challenging words in our lesson today. Please repeat after me. Solidify. Evaporation. Vapor. Condensation. Temperature. Well done, class. Welcome class. Today we'll be exploring how matter can change states. As we all know, this is possible when extreme cooling or heat is added to matter. Yes, you guessed it. We will be creating sugar crystals. This cool and tasty experiment will get your taste buds tingling. You'll be able to eat your very own sugar crystals. The aim of this experiment is to observe how sugar can experience a change in state and be returned to its original form. Method. The materials you'll need to conduct this experiment include sugar, one tablespoon measuring utensil, water, measuring cup that measures half a cup of water, one small saucepan, mixing spoon, insulated glass so it isn't too hot to hold, one pencil, one button, string, coloured dye, one pair of scissors, and blue tack. Procedure. Step one. First we want to get the glass ready for our solution. To do this, we'll need our double insulated glass, button, scissors, string, pencil, and blue tack. Once we have gotten together all the equipment, we will need to measure the string up against the glass to gauge how long the string needs to be. Then cut the string. You will need adult supervision or help when using the scissors. Step three. Next, we will tie the button to the end of the string. Step four. Now we need to tie the other end of the string onto the pencil. Step five. Next, we need to place a piece of blue tack over the string on the pencil so it doesn't slide around. The same needs to be done to the button. Step six. Now the glass is ready, we can move on to creating the sugar syrup. First we want to grab our water, measuring cup and saucepan. Now measure up half a cup of water. When measuring out liquids, it's important to watch it at eye level to make sure it is the correct amount. Pour the water into a small saucepan. Step seven, then add one tablespoon of sugar. Once this is added, stir the sugar until it has completely dissolved. Then repeat this step until you have created a saturated liquid, meaning no more sugar can be dissolved. Since the water is cold, it will take a very long time to dissolve. It would help to do this over a stove top. I will demonstrate it now. Make sure an adult assists you with this. Step eight. Now I have moved to a stove top. Pour the water in and set the stove top to a high heat. Let the water come to a boil, then start adding your sugar. Remembering that sugar water gets extremely hot, so make sure an adult does this part for you. Keep adding sugar until no more dissolves. As you can see, the sugar is changing from a solid to a liquid. Step nine. As you can see, the liquid is very thick. Once the liquid has cooled, add three drops of food coloring. I chose red because strawberry is my favorite flavor. Step 10. Now carefully pour the liquid into the glass containing the piece of string. Step 11. Leave the glass in a warm and dry place for four hours. Luckily, I have prepared the results already for this experiment. Can you see how the sugar granules have solidified and connected to the string? This is due to the sugar water being a super saturated solution. As the water evaporates from the sugar syrup, the dissolved sugar changes state from a liquid back to a solid. This is evidence that sugar is able to change states and return to its original form. Some limitations that come from this experiment is when I performed it previously, the button got stuck on the bottom of the glass from the blue tack, so make sure you don't use too much. Safety risks include using scissors to cut the string, the use of glass which can easily break, and dealing with boiling hot water. 
Therefore, nature and adult is with you to conduct these parts. Variations of the sugar crystal experiment could include doing the experiment on a much bigger scale or adding food flavoring to make yourself a tasty treat. I will leave you with this question. Do you think salt would have the same effect as sugar? I guess you'll need to test it and find out. Hope you enjoyed watching the sugar crystal experiment. See you next time.